Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm still binging LLM papers and I found this really interesting one with the title, Can We Automate Scientific Reviewing? which really caught my eye. So to cut through the chase, the answer is no, we can't. But it's astounding that we can even set up the models to attempt something like this and to study what the strengths and weaknesses of a model to do this would be. The really interesting thing is the authors start with an abstract, but the abstract itself was generated by their paper reviewing model. The goal is not to completely replace human reviewers, but maybe come up with a tool that can help them produce better reviews faster. Now, before we attempt a task like this, we have to define what a good review is. The authors come up with five criteria decisiveness in that the review has to take a clear stance on whether this is a good paper or not, comprehensiveness, it should cover all aspects of the paper, justification, which means you should be giving good reasons for your decision on the paper, accuracy, which means that your justifications are accurate with respect to what's presented in the paper. And lastly, kindness in terms of using kind and polite language in your review. Obviously, that last one is somewhat subjective and the authors are leaving it out of modeling it for now. One of the first things to ask about any paper that tries to train a model is what the data set is. And here the authors have found a data set of reviews from two prestigious machine learning conferences, ICLR and NeurIPS. And the data set has almost 9,000 papers, about 5,500 were accepted, the rest were rejected. You'll see that NeurIPS only provides reviews for accepted papers. And so for all these papers, they have the full text of the reviews. The next step was to take these reviews and have them annotated by humans. And the human annotators tagged parts of the review as whether there were summaries or whether they talked about the motivation and impact and so on. So humans took the text of the reviews and annotated them. And it was this annotated review data set that was then used to train a model. So how did the model do? The model still has a lot of weaknesses. The most important one is that it couldn't demonstrate a good high level understanding of these papers. Now, the comparing how the model performs against how the humans performed on the input data set. And as the authors say over here, the model could not precisely distinguish high quality papers from low quality papers. They also saw that the model tends to imitate the input data set. For example, there's this one sentence, the paper is well written and easy to follow. And it appears in 90% of reviews generated by the model because it is such a common sentence in the input data set. But the model did also show some strengths. The first one is that it was more comprehensive than human reviewers. And the second one was that the model was really good at summarization almost as good as human reviewers. And so the authors are suggesting that these review systems be used to help human reviewers. And especially since they found the summary accuracy was pretty high, it can be pretty helpful for general readers to quickly understand the core ideas of a paper. And since this model was pretty comprehensive, it can be used as the beginnings of a review or the outline of a review that a human reviewer can then go do a more thorough review of the paper with. So that was a quick look at a paper that takes on the really challenging question of how or if we can automate review of scientific papers. And although the model isn't quite there yet, they found some really interesting things as they were trying to build this. I hope you enjoyed that. Links to the paper are in the description. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.